क्वेश्चन एटीन द रिएक्शन जिंक प्लस कॉपर सल्फेट फॉर्मिंग कॉपर प्लस जिंक सल्फेट गोज कंप्लीटली टू द राइट इन वन एक्सपेरिमेंट टेन ग्राम ऑफ मेटेलिक जिंक वॉज एडेड टू टू हंड्रेड मिली लीटर ऑफ कॉपर सल्फेट सोल्यूशन आफ्टर ऑल कॉपर इज प्रेसिपिटेटेड इट वॉज फाउंड दैट नॉट ऑल द जिंक हैड डिजोल्व आफ्टर फिल्ट्रेशन द टोटल सॉलिड एट द एंड ऑफ द रिएक्शन वॉज नाइन पॉइंट एट वन जीरो ग्राम कैलकुलेट फर्स्ट द वेट ऑफ कॉपर डिपॉजिटेड एंड सेकेंड मोलैरिटी ऑफ कॉपर सल्फेट इन द ओरिजिनल सोल्यूशन Atomic weight of copper is given as 63.5, and atomic weight of zinc is given as 65.4. The reaction is zinc plus copper sulfate forming copper plus zinc sulfate. When zinc changes to zinc sulfate, the change in oxidation number of zinc is two, and the number of atoms of zinc is 1 therefore valency factor of zinc is 2 and in copper sulfate to copper the change in oxidation number of copper is 2 and number of atoms of copper is 1 therefore valency factor of copper is 2 now according to the question the weight of zinc is 10 g now let the weight of zinc which reacted with copper sulfate be x g and weight of copper deposited be y gram the weight of zinc which is left at the end of the reaction is 10 minus x gram now equivalents of zinc will be equal to equivalents of copper equivalents of zinc will be equal to weight of zinc that is x gram divided by equivalent weight of zinc now equivalent weight of zinc will be equal to atomic weight of zinc that is 65.4 divided by valency factor of zinc that is 2 and this is equal to equivalents of copper equivalents of copper will be weight of copper that is y grams divided by equivalent weight of copper the equivalent weight of copper will be atomic weight of copper that is 63.5 divided by valency factor of copper that is 2 and this is equal to x by 65.4 equals to y by 63.5 as can be seen from this equation x divided by 65.4 gives the moles of zinc and y divided by 63.5 gives the moles of copper since the equation is balanced and valency factor for zinc and copper are same therefore it can also be said that moles of zinc is equal to moles of copper now from this equation y is equal to x divided by 65.4 into 63.5 therefore weight of copper is equal to x divided by 65.4 into 63.5 now according to the question the weight of zinc left that is 10 minus x grams plus the weight of copper formed that is x divided by 65.4 into 63.5 is equal to 9.810 grams solving this equation the value of x is equal to 6.54 grams now putting the value of x in equation 1 we get the value of y equals to 6. 35 grams therefore weight of copper formed in the reaction is 6.35 grams now in the second part of the question we have to find the molarity of copper sulfate solution as can be seen from the reaction moles of copper is equal to moles of copper sulfate therefore molarity of copper sulfate solution will be equal to moles of copper divided by volume of solution in liters moles of copper will be equal to weight of copper that is 6.35 grams divided by atomic weight of copper that is 63.5 and moles of copper divided by volume of solution in liters now volume of solution is given as 200 milliliters 
therefore volume of solution in liters will be 200 divided by 1000 liters solving this equation the molarity of copper sulfate solution is equal to 0.5 m